Okay, we're back with part two. Part two of the restoration of a flintlock to percussion. So what I'm showing you now is the piece has been uh, prepared, cleaned, and I'm pulling out this browning chemical here. Uh, I'll have a link to where it's from. It's actually a pretty cool browning material. It's called Barrel Browning and Degreaser by Laurel Mountain Forge. Uh, don't know what it tastes like, but it degreases and browns in one easy application. So they're, the prep work on it is pretty minor. Uh, I still wipe it down with acetone because, yes, it can get rid of grease, but wax isn't grease, and a lot of these older uh, pistols will have wax on them. So I applied the first coat, and I'm just hitting it with some heat and letting it... Uh, uh, dry up a little bit easier. So here you can see some time-lapse photography. It's actually quite amazing. I didn't know that banding was even there at the time. So this is a 24-hour time-lapse um, with one coat of the browning material. I've also browned the lock plate and hammer. Here it is the next day. Uh, I did a simple carding on it. You can see it's shiny again and it's got a nice uh, mottled finish to it. Uh, it's not random, uh, but another coat never hurt so here's another coat of the same material uh, no prepping this time other than some minor carding to get the the, the, the loose surface layer off so the the new layer of browning material can um, work with the iron directly as opposed to working with the iron oxide uh, and, it, and that is what it's doing it, it is it is rusting your barrel uh, it's true iron oxide here's another 24-hour time lapse of the process uh, you notice this time the, the bands aren't as pronounced, uh, basically because the barrel uh, where the bands aren't, uh, it, it, it's, it's actually um, getting darker. The whole pistol's getting darker itself. Uh, and again, another 24 hour. This might have been 40 hours. There was one point where I couldn't get back to it, uh, but I left the time lapse running. It's, it does it, most of its action, if you notice, it does it in the first few hours. The benefit of leaving it 24 hours, I don't know, but I had the time, I wasn't doing anything else. Um, you know, life. <laughs> Good luck trying to find 48 hours to do something in a row, right? Uh, so, I pardon if anybody had a seizure from that flashing light. So here it is, now we're going to do the third coat, and you can point out the banding some more. You can see it's it's still there, it's, it's very prominent. Uh, and that, that gold inlay is sure popping a lot more. Just give me an idea all over. There, there was some problems with application. There appears to be some sort of uh, lead or some dissimilar metal stuck on the bottom that's not browning, but it's on the bottom. You'll never see it. Um, and this is not, you know, a full restoration. I'm just trying to get it back. So what I've done there is just a little bit of oil to see what it looks like. Uh, and you can see it's, it's actually quite a beautiful finish. Uh, it, it really surprised me. It was a pistol that I personally wouldn't have given much thought to my parents picked it up for me so here it is um, I'm done with the, uh, the the browning process and the carding process so now just grabbing some motor oil um, they say don't use the stuff with the detergent in it which is why they always tell you use old because detergent will actually remove rust so it's now been sat for 24 hours uh, in the oil and you can see it's actually a very nice barrel considering Somebody went at it with a wire brush or, or some coarse steel wool. Um, I didn't want to take any more metal off, so I just did the browning process. Um, these guys here, uh, they're getting boiled, and they're the same uh, browning, but when you boil it, it actually turns it into a black. It actually changed the, the, the chemical makeup of the rust and gives you more of a, of a bluing effect as opposed to a browning effect. So you call this rust blue as opposed to rust brown. There's not much to it other than time. Uh, I really like it. I hope you guys like it. Um, I don't know of many other browning chemicals out there. There's apparently a few. You can make your own. But to be honest, this uh, Laurel Mountain Forge stuff I got here, uh, I didn't get paid. I wish I did. I bought this stuff, uh, I don't know where, um, somewhere online. And uh, I'd say hunt them down. I'll, I'll try to get a link in the, in the description for you because it's definitely a small company. And um, like most small companies, they can really use some help. What I'm doing here is I'm just taking the smaller areas where I couldn't get the big carding wheel. 
uh, and carding is using that really fine metal brush to, to just remove the the rust. You can do it with steel wool as well, but in this case, the Dremel just speeds things up, and the, and the carding wheel in particular speeds things up. Uh, you want to get as much off as possible. It can lead to further rust in the future, but it should be all inert at this point uh, because this pistol, these parts were boiled to, to give them that, uh, the darker uh, black look. It doesn't really show up so well on video, uh, in person, you can see it. It, it. it doesn't look like it's been refinished, uh, which was my goal. I didn't want it to look like a new pistol, but I didn't want it to look like someone um, disrespected it and turned it into a pile of gumpity gook. I hope you guys enjoy this section of the video. It's kind of short. I'll probably be throwing it up with number one shortly after, so you can watch number one first and then uh, take a break. Uh, come back in a day or two, you can watch number two. Um, here I was just continuing carding uh, with uh, now a nylon brush. There's not much to it. Now for reassembly, after all this is done, that will be the next video. Please like and subscribe. I really need all your help. Uh, I've been having so much fun doing this. Your response um, and, and views has been um, far beyond anything I can imagine. So thank everyone out there. And uh, to be continued. See you in the future.